also a case uh, this past year of a uh, that kind of thread that thin line between free speech and hate speech, right. and that was uh, actually a story that the Sentinel had broke with uh, right. Council President Herb Wesson, right. um, where there was an individual who was throwing racial slurs, right. and let's just say many, you know, including myself, see some things as hate speech, and right. what is that line? But it brings up an interesting question or that thin right. line, but there weren't charges filed against right. this individual. Right. You know, what do you have to say about that case or just in free well, speech, hate you, speech you can, in general? you can rest assured as a former hate crime prosecutor, yeah. if I thought we could file that case and win it, we would have filed it. Yeah. But uh, we live in a country mm -hmm. uh, where, where you do have free speech, and the issue was, was it an immediate threat mm -hmm. or was it uh, speech. What what uh, what Mr. Spindler did was was terrible yeah. and awful, and uh, uh, and who who does that? Who brings up the Klan yeah. in the age of 2016? If you don't mean to scare someone, but uh, in looking at all of the decisions that we looked at, and in looking at this card that Mr. Spindler chose to communicate with. We felt that uh, we could not prove beyond a reasonable doubt that this was a threat on uh, the council president's life. If we, mm. if we felt we could have proved it, we would have. And, and once again, we, you know, we did a detailed analysis. Mm. Uh, I, ho I hope, you know, I hope people read, you know, uh, not only this but certainly our Ford uh, decision. But we uh, looked long and hard and and felt that this was uh, ambiguous enough where we couldn't really uh, prove that he intended to, um, you know, to, to, to threaten mm -hmm. um, uh, the council president. And I know it's tough yeah. because I have a relationship with everybody in the council, including yeah. Councilman uh, Wesson, and I don't have a lot of tolerance for people yeah. who have this mindset. Mm -hmm. of using the Klan. But remember, even before that, I think an African-American man showed up in a Klan, in a Klan outfit mm -hmm. at the, um, you know, at the, at the city council meeting. Some of these public meetings are mm -hmm. circuses, yeah. right? Yeah. And, and you get people coming out there who um, say some offensive things. But um, there, there is uh, a line between free speech and threats. And yeah. certainly if we felt we could prove that uh, he was intending to say, I'm going to, you know, put a noose around uh, the councilman's neck and hang him. That would have been a different story, but it was it, it was almost cartoonish like the actual card mm -hmm. when you look at it, mm -hmm. and uh, a bit uh, a bit ambiguous. Mm -hmm. And and the lawyer we put on it, I thought, uh, really looked long and carefully at the case law. Oh. And look, just to ask on behalf of our readers and the skeptics right. is. That's one of those cases, and similar to Marlene right. Pinnock, where there's video evidence, and not even just in L.A., there was Walter Scott, there's a case where there was a hung jury. Many people say, is it just that the DA's offices around the country are looking to win, and if they can't win, they're not even going to allow a jury of 12 to weigh? But as you said, you have to be confident going in, so we have to respect your position. But right. How do, how do you well, think, we, how you know, you throw that don't, thin line? No, no question about it, we lose our share of cases. <laughs> we lose them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that doesn't go into account that you all don't no, want to No, we, we, we lose our share of cases. I and mean, we okay. lost one where I still to this day don't understand what the jury was thinking, okay. where uh, an officer was kicking a guy on tape who was homeless in front of the Staples Center. I do not understand why the jury came back not guilty. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, but and so we, we, and we took... Uh, just uh, you know, but do those you, weigh you, in to like later ones that we may have a juror no, like that? No, so no, there's no, there, you kind of know it when you see it okay. in terms of what we can prove in front of 12 jurors. Mm -hmm. We we never know, um, you know, we never know what what impact the defendant is going to have on yeah, a jury. Yeah. Okay. You know that that part um, uh, certainly the. the People respect police officers, so we understand that, and we know that going in. But uh, you, you brought up Pennock. Once again, there are reports out there. I hope people read it. But what you didn't bring up is we prosecuted um, uh, Mary O'Callaghan, who is yes. an LAPD officer, mm -hmm. who, uh, you know, who, who was choking uh, Alicia uh, Thomas in a back of yes. a car. Yes. Now, we prosecuted that yeah. because we felt we could prove beyond a reasonable doubt, and we did. Yes. And she ended up going to, to jail. Um, I think people kind of forget. Yeah. 
Yeah, and I think, and unfortunately, these were some high profile. Right. But as you said, I can't. Right. But you're correct, and that's why I started with. Right. You guys do great work throughout the year, and right. I get many of the releases that you guys are prosecuted and taking a lot of things a lot from of bad gang guys are going and to jail. sex trafficking That's too. Right. And it's and it's unfortunate these thing atrocities are happening daily. But to see your office taking it on, trust me, I say thank you on behalf of everyone. But thank you. it's certain of these cases that. People are just, they're calling me like, what's going on? You know, so right. that's why to have it's you It's frustrating. In, it's, I, it's I, remember, I, when, when we're talking about, uh, like, Walter Scott, Scott was, I think, in South Carolina. Yeah, that wasn't Los Angeles. Wasn't Los Angeles. But people were just outraged. Right, but remember, we only saw, like, a snippet of that. And that's the thing, is a lot of times the community is only exposed to uh, a very small snippet of a videotape, and there's a lot of other evidence going on. I don't know. I don't know. I look at that case and I think, okay, that's a filing. But remember, I, I'm not there. I don't know what all they had. You would still need to know yeah, something. Yeah, you, 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 you have to as but a I think because you never know But what I have to say this do. as far as just the naked eye we're yeah. talking about. Now, right. evidence says the man, is, how much more clear cut can we get to right. where someone's back is turned? Yeah. He's not a threat in that moment. Yeah. And he's, <clears throat> excuse me, and he's fatally... Right. shot. So I understand where you're coming from with right. evidence and weighing the entire incident right. up to that point. Well, you, but that's you the part still, that... You may still see him convicted because that was a hung. Yeah, it was hung. It's not over. But I'm just using that as an example. Right. Of, right. I it's think tough. these cases are tough. It, it, and, it, it, no question And Marlene that. Pinnock, only reason I think that resonated with many people was mm -hmm. the severity of the altercation right. on camera. It right. just... It, right. A lot of people, even myself, still wonder, did that need to happen? Is there a deep... And I think you shared with us, you're, you're working with, to de with officers and I think they're even cheap yeah, to de-escalate and there's training now going on if I'm correct.